Hi, it's Luke from Delphi Technologies. In today's how-to video, we're going to show you how to perform a battery drain test on this Ford Fiesta. It may be that the battery is draining while the vehicle is inactive, so you need to determine if this is due to something on the vehicle drawing current when everything should be switched off. This is often called a parasitic load. Before we start, you need to consider that all modern vehicles have parasitic loads. Many systems never truly shut down when the vehicle is switched off. For instance, it is always actively searching for a signal from the key remote. You can see here on this vehicle the positive and negative connections to the battery. An ammeter detects the current flowing through it. This means the meter has to be part of the circuit, connected in series. For this, we have to break the circuit at some point and insert the meter so that the current can flow through it. We will test at the negative terminal of the battery. So, we need to remove the negative terminal and connect the meter to complete the circuit. Connect the red lead to the connector on the end of the lead and the black lead to the battery negative terminal. The test will still work if you get these the wrong way around, but the reading will show as negative. Right now, all current is flowing through the meter and the parasitic draw can be determined. Do not switch on the lights or start the engine as the meter can only read up to a few amps and by exceeding this would blow its fuse. Remember, we're not looking for a result of zero. Some systems will be running in the background even when the vehicle is switched off. So how much current are we looking for? Consider some maths. This is a 60 amp hour battery. It will supply 60 amps for one hour. To fully drain this over a period of 10 hours, you would expect to see a current draw of nearly six amps. With a current of one amp, this battery should last 60 hours or just over two days from fully charged. You can also refer to the manufacturer's data for the expected current. You can see here that I have a sizable parasitic drain on this vehicle. Now comes a process of elimination to diagnose the course. Keeping the ammeter connected to the battery, or the amp clamp around the negative lead, you can begin to isolate individual systems and removing fuses to shut down active circuits on the vehicle. If the current reading reduces when you pull the fuse, you can narrow down your search by using topology and wiring diagrams to assist with your diagnosis. You could also use an infrared heat camera to detect any fuses that have any current running through them. You can see here that this fuse is hotter than the others and there should be no current running through that circuit. Thanks for watching today. For more how to's and support, follow us on social media or visit our Masters of Motion online hub. And if you'd like to continue your learning further, check out our range of expert led courses at the Delphi Training Academy. See you next time.